As iconic as Quentin's E-Type may be, we simply can't afford to live in the past. The greatest example of the British sports car industry today is, once again, Lotus. OK, they may well be 80% Malaysian owned, but at least they've moved into the 21st century. The Esprit is looking a bit dated, but it remains an impressive machine. Whilst the brilliant little Elise is the car that rescued the company from the doldrums. And this is their blueprint for the future, the stunning looking M250, now due on sale in 2002. And in their spare time, they even managed to bolt together the bizarre looking 340R. <laughs> Why Lotus even bothered, I'm still not sure. The Elise is brilliant fun as it is, but this is supposed to be the ultimate in minimalistic design. While the Elise enlightened many sports car manufacturers with its no compromise design, the 340R takes it to the extreme. Road legal thanks only to a few carbon fibre mudguards and this steeply raked screen. Weighing in at only 650 kilos, this road version still isn't light enough for the 190 horsepower Rover K-Series engine to produce the target of 340 bhp per tonne. Only the even more stripped down track version can do that. Whilst the 340R might look a bit of a dog thinner from the outside, on the inside it's still pure lotus. And that means handling to die for. Mind you, however much fun it is, I still can't see quite anyone who wants to spend £35,000 on a car that has got no roof at all and has permanent wings beating you to death. But I guess I must be wrong because 340 people have already bought all of these cars that have been made. And I guess it must just be that sort of fun that makes them want to buy it. Quentin, this is fun city. But Tiffy's got no doors, oh, they've forgotten to finish the bodywork. Oh, look and where did you get those ridiculous sunglasses from? Sit down, shut up and put your seatbelts on and enjoy this. That it's come to this, I'm being driven home in a beach buggy. Good night.